If you allow Russia to deny Georgia its ambitions of taking a place in an international community of nations just by occupying part of the territory, we're giving Russia a veto over Georgia's future. Uh, that's not something that we should want to do. The thrust or the direction of NATO's thinking is clear. We stand with Georgia. We want to be helpful. The actual decision on whether December is the time for the membership action plan or not is something to be taken later. And in the interim, we're creating this NATO-Georgia Commission, and we're going to be working through a lot of efforts to try to see how we can build a closer relationship and provide more assistance. I think what's happened is that that has created a negative reaction throughout Europe. Uh, to see not only the use of military force to invade a neighboring country, but then to follow that up with breaking off parts of that territory, I think has really caused a negative reaction throughout Europe as a whole. Uh, that in turn, I think, leads people to think, well, what can we be doing? Because we believe in, we support Georgia's sovereignty, its territorial integrity. We want to see Georgia succeed as a democracy and a market economy and a part of an international community. So it causes everyone to look again at how can we be most helpful. This is a historic meeting for Georgia. It's the first visit of North Atlantic Council to Georgia. And it's a very strong signal that a Russian aggression has not stopped Georgia moving towards Euro-Atlantic integration and moving towards NATO. And this is crucial for Georgia. This is crucial for Europe. This is crucial for alliance.